Hey peoples, Eric Meyer here, Slash Society Opinions, click, like, subscribe, comment down below, you know all that jazz, but yeah, don't forget to admire my handsome mug, or Deco's handsome mug. <laughs> <sighs> Today's video is uh, a little different, um, a little something I'm going to be coming up with uh, each second or third week of each month, which I always call my monthly rent. <laughs> but all joking aside... Today's topic is fat shaming. Folks, fat shaming is not a nice thing. Now, I have heard about fat shaming, but I have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> pardon me, just had a little something stuck in my throat. <laughs> As I was saying, fat shaming, I have heard of it, but I've never seen it happen in person. I have seen a couple of videos on it, maybe one or two, but... One particular um, video I saw yesterday, you know, struck a chord. Uh, you know, like, um, how should I put it? Uh, it got on my nerves. Folks, this 19-year-old African-American woman was being harassed by a elderly African-American woman just because she was fat. Now I'm not implying that as a I'm not implying that as an as an insult. I myself am a big guy with a big belly, and as Deco would speak for me, speak for both of us because we're both big guys. Now the only thing is, the only reason why he's big is because he's got muscle, because he's a heavy hitter for the Crusaders. Well, anyway, anyway, my point is. I do not like fat shaming. It is not a nice thing. Yes, I know there's other types of shaming, like trying to shame people for being gay, for being skinny, or for not being, you know, macho, or, well, super intelligent, or whatever, whatever. The point is, we're all equal, no matter how big, skinny, tall, short, skin color, race, whatever. My point is, folks, don't go shaming people just because they look different or have or have disabilities or whatever that you don't know about. I myself was be, was bullied just because of my ADHD. Now I know this has nothing to do with fat shaming, but I'm just throwing that in there anyway because it's similar. The point is, bullying is not nice. What whether it's your elders that are being bullied or teenagers or young adults, kids, pets, any anything, anyone, anything in that order. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Deck and see what he what his thoughts are. Deco Well, thank you, Eric. I can only speak for myself. Yes, I'm a big guy. I actually make jokes about how big I am, but that's just me. Some people are quite sensitive about their size but I just want to put something into perspective you could be my size you could make me look anorexic you could make me look hyper obese you could be six inches taller than me you could be six inches shorter than me but if you're healthy I'm going to quote Dwayne The Rock Johnson it doesn't matter what your size is now, you know, personally, I'm a big fan of the TV show Married with Children. Quite a lot of overbuilt was a nice way of saying, you know what, uh, women of all shapes and sizes that are overbuilt were given a lot of roles on the show. Now, if... They didn't like any women of that size. Why did so many actually get even even a small role on that? Yes, it's fit. It is true that if you're larger, you've a lot less opportunities out there. Is that wrong? Absolutely. So, I'm all for giving more people opportunities. Now, if they are healthy, size. 
And I know what you dirty people out there are thinking, don't. Size does not matter. Now, normally, you know me, my waistline is like my sense of humour, very broad and always expanding. But that's just me. And that's my thoughts on it, Eric. If you're healthy, it doesn't matter what your size is. So, Eric, do you have anything else to say on the matter before we close for today? Anyway, Deck, to close off the matter, no matter how big, small, tall, short, race, religion, regardless of age or height, you are who you are. And to, to all those fat shamers out there, <clears throat> leave those lovely people alone. You don't know what they're going through, what their job is, or how, how they're going to get to work and all that. Anyway, anyway, just leave them alone. Let them go about their day, you know, with, the, with their own business and all that. Anyway, folks, this has been myself, Eric Marr, and my partner in crime, Deco Gill, of Sire Society Opinions. Stay tuned for Movie Monday with Deco Gill. Ciao!